Artificial intelligence is also being deployed in the fight against seasonal allergies. CBS News national correspondent Dave Malkoff shows us how technology is changing the long and tedious process of pollen counting. Atlanta is known as a city in a forest. It's kind of crazy. It was on one of Atlanta's legendary high pollen days when Emory professor Dr. Young Lu started feeling off. I just couldn't breathe. I'm like struggling for air. The professor who studies environmental health. Let's see what's happening. Was stumped until he got the diagnosis. Adult onset asthma. I never heard of it. Because of pollen, something that's getting worse because of warming temperatures caused by climate change. Runny nose, itchy eyes, it's, yeah, it's a uh, torture. Those symptoms are exacerbated by the amount of pollen in the air, which is determined by a daily pollen count. Here's how it's measured. Single to double digits is low. In the 1500 range, is very high. Anything beyond that is an off the charts day, like just recently in Atlanta. In early April, the pollen count was extremely high, reaching 8740. That is the third highest day since Atlanta allergy and asthma started counting this stuff back in 1991. So many people don't realize what we do. They, they think it's done by a machine. It's not. Trained technicians remove the grains from this device, then under a microscope, they count each one. I think sometimes I forget the impact that the pollen count has on our patients, friends, family. It's considered the most accurate way, but it's also expensive and time consuming. That's part of the reason why there are fewer than 90 certified stations across the country. In some states, don't even have one. The pollen monitoring in the U.S. is very, very sparse. Let's see what you got out there. I'm okay. excited to see what's outside. New technology like this can automatically count pollen and provide live, hyper-local data. Dr. Liu is testing its accuracy. It's portable and it's AI-driven. So it's, it has the ability to provide real-time pollen monitoring near you. It won't replace hand counting, but it will give you more information about what's floating around your neighborhood. I think in five years, we will be able to make more reliable pollen forecast hour by hour. So that can really help a lot of people. To know what's causing your symptoms and when to be ready for them. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Atlanta.